Hi, welcome to another video on Nerd Detectives channel. Today we're going to see how to create users in Active Directory and connect a client PC to a domain. In the process of this, we will also get an idea how to use group policy. As you can see on the screen, I have two virtual machines for Windows Server 2016 and Windows 10 client. We are now on our Windows Server 2016. First thing we would uh, do is check the local server dashboard, note down the IP address and the server domain name. Then we need to click on tools and then go to active directory users and computers over here we will see our domain just click on the arrow it will bring more options then go to the users and then right click on empty screen and click new and then click on option user now it will open up a new window over here we will pull up details like name and last name and then make sure to define user login name as this name would be used to sign in Now over here we type in our password and click on next and then we we'll go and click on finish and after that you can see our user has been created right click on that and go to properties. Over here you will see plenty of options and under member of you can check well, this uh, user is a part of a domain users group so it will have access or the rights that domain users usually have by default on Windows Server but you can change it by clicking on add you can also make this user as a part of administrator group so it will have all the admin rights by default and you can remove the group you want to remove and this is how you imply all the group policies based on the groups but we haven't created any group policy at this stage we're going to go ahead now on our client windows and see how we can join this windows uh, server using its domain very first thing we want to check if we, our windows client can access this server or not or are, are we able to ping that by using its um, actually domain name system as we see we are not able to ping that server so let's find out if we are able to ping that IP address because we will be needing that IP address to set up as a DNS address for this client PC so it can join the DNS server without any hassles. So it confirms that we do um, have access to this server and it is able to ping. Now we're gonna make few changes in our Ethernet settings. So to do that we're gonna go ahead and go to control panel and after that network and internet click on network and sharing center and then click on ethernet and when when you click on properties it will give you more options make sure you untick ipv6 and you click on ipv4 and click on properties and under use the following dns server we're going to type the IP address of our local server that we have pre-configured which is 192.168.50.9 so since we have done that we're going to close this windows and let's go ahead with joining the server Now to join the server you go to this PC and right click on properties and then click on change settings and then you click on change and after that you can change your computer name if you want to but we're going to click on domain and type up type of a domain name which is romy.server and then hit ok. Once you hit ok you will see that it will be asking for the username and the password that we have configured in active directory so just type the same details so when you type in and press ok it should give us a uh, box as you see welcome to the romy.server domain so we have successfully joined the domain all we need to do is just restart our client pc so now we are restarting as we have successfully joined the server most uh, most people will probably face this problem as we uh, as i'm going to show you on the screen so most people think that it's nice and easy now all we need to do is just hit the username and type in the password and there you go you can log in but it's, it doesn't seem to be that easy at this moment 
because it is going to give us an error as you can see on the screen. Now most people do get confused over here that maybe they, do not ha uh, they don't have added the user to remote desktop services user or maybe they do not have remote desktop services turned on. After enabling them and after adding the user to remote desktop services as we did uh, when we configuring the server or the user we clicked on member off and added it to administrator group same way you can make it a part of remote desktop user but it is not going to resolve the issue. The main issue here over here is a group policy. So first thing, um, we're gonna go ahead and add this user to remote desktop users. Just follow the on-screen instructions and you will know how to do it. Once we're done with that, go to server manager and click on tools and click on group policy management. Now under group policy management, expand domains and then expand roomy.server. As you can see, our forest domain is here. Now we're going to go ahead and make few changes right click on romi.server and then we're going to go click on a new organization unit and we're going to name it networking and press ok as you can see it has created another folder you click on networking now there is no group policies defined here so we need to manually add some So we right click on networking and then create a new GPO and then you can name it as we're going to say remote problem just so I can describe that this is the group policy for my remote problem but you can define multiple policies just in one remote problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and edit this remote problem and just make this window a little bit big so it's easy to expand and see. Just expand policies and then expand Windows settings. And we're going to go ahead and expand security settings. And under security settings, we're going to go on local policies and then click on user rights and assignments. Under that, you will see allow login through remote desktop services. We're going to click on that and then check define this policy setting and then add user. So we're going to add here a group. Well, the group name should be authenticated users or you can also define domain users. You can add administrator or whatever you user you want to, but it's easier that way if you just add authenticated users. First I added domain users just to show you but we can go add more groups here. Now we're going to add authenticated users. Now the next step, this one is very important after updating your group policies. You go to command prompt and type this command gpu update and then space slash force. So once it has updated it successfully, we're gonna go back to our client and try to sign in again and hopefully it will work this time. Let's go to our client, click on other user, type in the username that you have configured and then type in the password. As you can see, we have successfully logged in. It will bring our screen to our desktop. So it's all working now. It's really nice and easy. Thanks for watching. And if you like that video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more updates and more tech related stuff. Bye for now.